Okay, while the brisket 580 heats up to 250 degrees, I'm going to show you what we're doing. Uh, you know by the title, but we're going to make smoked spaghetti and meatballs. Hopefully this works. I have not done this before, but I have made the green chili mac and cheese this way, and it turns out incredible. I'll leave a video card or iCard or whatever they call it at the end of this video if you want to check it out. It's so simple, so easy. So we're going to try this out with uh, spaghetti. So uh, what I'm going to use, though, for my sauce is Classico tomato and basil. I'll be using one pound of spaghetti. I'll be using Johnsonville hot Italian sausage. Now, Classico hot Italian sausage makes the most flavorful sauce. If you like spaghetti, try it sometime. Tomato and basil, hot sausage, it's not really hot, and, uh, and spaghetti. Awesome, awesome spaghetti. And then, I, uh, the other day I did my uh, smashed meatball sandwiches and uh, so I have four meatballs left and I'm going to smoke these meatballs and in case you didn't know how to, how to make these meatballs, check it out. Alright, I just take a pound of 80-20 ground beef, teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of black pepper, teaspoon of granulated garlic, one egg, three-quarter cup of panko breadcrumbs, three-quarter cup of shredded parmesan cheese, quarter cup of finely chopped Italian parsley, mix it well. And once it's mixed, we're going to make a three and a half ounce meatballs. Okay, and there you go. Pretty basic. Got all my ingredients sitting there uh, at the brisket, 580. Um, doesn't have a front shelf yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to smoke the sausage, smoke the meatball, smoke the sauce with the spaghetti in it. As soon as the uh, sausage is smoked and cooked all the way through, uh, I'm going to add it to the sauce. So this is where I'm hoping it cooks fast enough. I'm going to have it above the sauce so any grease will drip down in the sauce. All right, so let's get this in. All right, I'm going to put our four meatballs up here. Actually, I'm going to move these over a little bit. Because I want to get our sausage up there as well. Putting the whole pound of sausage in there. Get my pan right there. I'm going to add my sauce. I will put probably about maybe a quarter cup of water in here, get the rest of the sauce. And then I'm going to add my one pound of spaghetti noodles. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna put them in whole, I'm not breaking them. Okay. So I'll mix this up a little bit. We'll get the uh, sauce over the noodles. I'm gonna pour some water in that jar. All right, I've got some, I got about a half a cup of water. I'm just gonna shake it up, get the rest of that uh, sauce, and we are going to dump it right in here. And like I said, I wanna get the sauce and the noodles, the noodles to get nice and wet. So uh, we're at 250 degrees. It eventually will get up to a boil. But until then, we want to get our sausage and meatballs uh, smoked up. So this is a great, uh, great little test here. Okay. I'm going to slide this back so that it catches any grease that drips from those. All right. I'm going to go ahead and stick these through here. We're going to just keep the temperature of in my sausage. I'll stick it over this way so that my lid can still close. I'm going to take my other one, and this one will go into, eh, let's put it in this meatball. All right, so we got our meatball with a tip probe and our sausage. I don't know if it'll work, but hey, we'll find out, right? So the white, so these are color-coded, um, white. And black, the black will, is the meatball, and the white is the uh, sausage. All right, check that out. The meatball and the sausage are both at 155. Okay, meatballs and sausage are reading. Look at that, reading at 155. Man, that looks good. Check this out. That's the sausage. And there's the meatballs. Mm -mm -mm. There's our spaghetti down there. Okay, then I'm going to pull this forward and 
I'm gonna take my uh, sausage, take the temp probe out of it, take the sausage, and I'm going to get all that grease in there, and then I'm gonna break it up into the sauce and the noodles. Okay, I do need to get this mixed up. Let's just uh, see where we are with the noodles. Not quite ready. So, it looks like the sauce is really too thick. So I'm gonna go get some water. We'll add some water to it. So I've got some hot water in here because I don't wanna cool it off. Probably about eight ounces there. Mix it up. Yeah. All right, I think I'm just gonna need a little bit more. So probably a total of, let's say 12 ounces. All right. All right. So the noodles aren't quite ready. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, I'm gonna go ahead and put the meatballs down in here. They are pretty much done. We're gonna let them sit in here in the sauce and everything. Okay, I'm gonna cover it with foil. Okay, and I've got a couple pieces of garlic toast that I'm going to wrap in foil here. We're gonna set this in here too, just let that cook. I'm gonna probably let it go. I'll check it at about 30 minutes and see how we're doing. But we want that, uh, water to steam and get those noodles finished. We'll be back in right, 30 minutes. Let's see here. Ooh, that looks good. Well, it really does thicken up like, uh, kind of like when you do baked spaghetti. So, Get a noodle in here. All right, that is done. Pull it off, plate it up, and do a taste test. Before we plate it up, I'm going to check my bread. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Look yeah, there, nice warm garlic bread. Go with our spaghetti and meatballs. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Those are some smoked meatballs right there. Look at that, yum. All right, let's get some of this onto a plate. Look at that. I'm telling you what, that looks amazing. Okay, and let's get a meatball right there on top. Okay, now I know if you're like me, pretty curious, what does that meatball look like inside, right? Let's just uh, take that meatball and cut it in half. Give it a look. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh my goodness. That looks amazing. Let's give it a taste. There you go. Smoked spaghetti on a pellet grill on the brisket 580. Look at that. And I did the garlic bread. And uh, yeah, let's take a taste of this. I can't wait. First of all, I want to take a taste of this uh, smoked meatball. Okay, smoked meatball. <laughs> All right. Yep, that's amazing. Okay, let's get some uh, spaghetti on there. Ah, that's not a very big bite. We'll take it anyway. That's pretty good. Now, everybody's going to wonder, is there a lot of smoke flavor? There's really not. There's a hint, but... Not like you're gonna go, oh my gosh, that tastes so smoky. 
Uh-uh. Mmm. So good. Garlic bread. Meatball and spaghetti. Or is it spaghetti and meatball? Mmm. <laughs> All right, well, I think the next time what I'm going to do, because there will be a next time, when I add the spaghetti sauce, I'll just put a whole, let's see, there's 32 ounces in that jar. I put about all the spaghetti sauce, 16 ounces of water, then let it roll, and I wouldn't have had to add it there after an hour, but uh, yeah, it came out really, really good, and it does have... Now that I'm uh, getting some more flavor, resting, it does have a little bit of smoky flavor. Not real strong. But you can tell there's something there that you're like, hmm. And maybe it has to do with the, uh, with the uh, smoked meatball. Mmm. Mm -mm. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm going to go eat. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Come back and see the next video. Have a great day.